Hello friends, let's have some fun learning about major landforms of the earth. Chapter 6 Geography What you will learn in this chapter, the variation in the lithosphere or the surface of the earth are known as landforms. Landforms are formed by two major processes, internal processes and external processes. Internal process, the upliftment and the sinking of the earth's surface. External process, the erosion of earth and then deposition results in the formation of landforms. The surface of the earth is not uniform. At some places, it is several thousand meters above the mean sea level, while at other places, it is level and flat. These variations on the land surface are called relief features or landforms. Do you know that there is a continuous movement taking place within the earth? The ground on the which we are standing is slowly moving. The landforms on the earth's surface have been created and developed by two types of forces, tectonic forces and gradational forces. The tectonic forces which originate from within the earth create irregularities on the surface of the earth. The tectonic and the internal process force is responsible for the upliftment and subsidence of the earth's surface. The next gradational forces originate from outside the earth. It modifies the irregularities created by the internal forces. The gradational or external forces continuously wear down and rebuild erosion and deposition the land surface. The wearing away of the surface of the earth is called erosion. It causes the lowering of the surface. The rebuilding of the earth's surface is done by deposition. The process of erosion and deposition are mostly carried out by running water, glacier, wind and sea waves. The ways the landforms have developed on the earth's surface offers a sound basis for their classification. The three major type of landforms classified on the basis of their elevation, relief, and slope are mountains, plateaus, and plains. First, we talk about mountains. A mountain is a huge landmass which rises more than 900 meters above the mean sea level. About half of the mountain surface should have steep slope. The mountains are the highest landforms and occupy about one fourth of the total land area of the earth. Mountain, we can say the mountain is a natural elevation of the earth and most mountains have a small summit and broad base. Mountains are considerably higher than the surrounding land and some are higher than the clouds. Some mountains have permanent slow moving rivers of ice known as glaciers and some mountains are found beneath the sea. Because of harsh climate and difficulty in growing crops, very few people live on the mountain. Mountains are sometimes in line known as ranges and many mountain systems consist of series of parallel ranges running for hundreds of kilometers. Look at this picture. If you observe the small summit and broad base. So the which landform have small summit and broad base and high elevation and steep slope known as 
mountains. Now there are three type of mountains: fold mountain, block mountain, and volcanic mountain. First, we talk about fold mountain. Most of the mountain range of the world, such as the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Rockies, and the Andes, are fold mountain. As these mountain have deformed recently, they are also known as young old mountain. On the other hand, the Arabis were formed much earlier and are known as old old mountain. Originally, the rock strata of the fold mountains have laid down as sediments in water bodies. The rock strata was later uplifted by the horizontal compressional forces, which crumpled the top layer of the sediments into arcs. In this way, the fold mountain formed. These are the diagram of fold mountain. I hope you have enjoyed my video. In next session, we will discuss about. other type of mountain block mountain and volcanic mountain thank you